departure, King 62, climbing through 3.5000 for 3.5000. Alrighty, everything's looking pretty good. And uh, all right, clear prop. Oh, hey, how's it going, family circle? I almost started the plane up and took off without you guys. How about you join me today? And uh, we're gonna take a tour of the Reedy College Aeronautics Building. All right, I'm gonna put that back. Let's see if we can't find someone to help take us on a tour of the building. Oh, John, John, how's it going? Ladies and gentlemen, this is John Johnson, the program coordinator of the Flight Science Program here at Reedley College. John, do you think you could take us on a tour of the building? Hi, Lorenzo. Of course I could. Let's go take a tour. Perfect. So, John, tell me a little bit about the Reedley College Program. The Reedley College Program has been around for about 75 years. This building we're in was built in 1960, which is the same year that I was born. And the reason we have this building is so people can uh, go to college and become airplane mechanics. A couple of years ago, we started a new program where your students can learn to become pilots. So students can now choose that they want to be trained to be an airplane pilot or do they want to train to be an airplane mechanic. Wow. So John, how many airplanes do you guys have here at the campus? Oh, we have a lot. We have seven airplanes and we have two helicopters here in this building. And at the Fresno Airport, we have 10 more airplanes where people learn how to fly. Whoa, that's a lot of airplanes. It is a lot of airplanes. John, can you talk to me a little bit about some of these airplanes that we have? Certainly. This aircraft is called a Beechcraft Bonanza. It has an engine of about 250 horsepower. And in the back, you can put six people in it. And the thing I like about this airplane is that it will go 200 miles an hour which is much, much faster than you can go in a car. 200 miles an hour? 200 miles an hour. Holy smokes, that's fast. That is fast. Now, tell me about this one. This airplane is called a Piper Comanche. Actually, it's a twin Comanche because it has an engine on one side, and on the other wing, there is another engine, and you can see the propeller on it. This yeah. airplane has four seats, and it also can go 200 miles an hour. Whoa. Okay, now tell me about that one. What about okay. that one? Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you from the cockpit, this is your captain speaking. Would like to thank you for flying with Family Circle today. Quick tip. Did you know that the first twin propeller engine was invented by the Wright brothers, who were the first people to ever fly a plane? Well, this yellow airplane over here is called a Piper Cherokee. It only goes about 150 miles an hour, but you can put six people in it and you can put a lot of uh, luggage in it if you're gonna go on vacation. And so uh, it goes a little bit slower, but you can carry more stuff. Wow. Now, I, I don't think I've ever seen an airplane like this. Why, why is it all in pieces? What happened? Did, is it broken? Well, no, uh, Lorenzo, it's not broken, but the engine cowling has been taken off because these airplanes are used to teach students to become airplane mechanics. So if you want to work on the engine and fix it, you have to take the metal parts away. So now you can use your tools and work on the engine. Wow. Now you, you said that there are pilots here too, or people who are training to become pilots. Do, do they use these airplanes at all? Well, yes, they do. They take their classes in a classroom on the other side of the building. But when you start talking about engines for pilots, the students get to come out and look at a real live airplane engine or a propeller or the tires or the whole airplane. And so they learn a lot better if they get to look at a real airplane. Really cool. Now, do we have other engines that are just laying around by any chance? Oh my we goodness. Did? We have lots of engines. Why don't we go look at some more engines? All right. Hey, Lorenzo, what are you doing? Oh, I was just 
trying to figure out what this thing is. This is so cool. Well, this is a jet engine and you know, you had your head stuck into the exhaust pipe. When that engine runs, it's really, really hot. It could have turned you into a s'more. Whoa, okay, all right, I'll stay away from that. Okay, good, I'm really glad. <laughs> Hey, you know what? I think there's something that, uh, you, that would work out really well for you. Why don't you follow me? All right, all right, sounds good. All right, don't want to be a smooth. Oh my goodness. Not yeah, it's, it's not, not running, Lorenzo, it's oh, okay. You it's can, not? You can uh, stand up, it's oh, all right. Okay, all right. Follow me. All right. This is your captain speaking with another fun fact. Did you know that jet engines need their own cooling systems because it runs really, really hot? 2,000 degrees Celsius, as a matter of fact, that's just about three times hotter than lava. And that's pretty hot. So, what do we have, John? Well, Lorenzo, this is a helicopter. In fact, if you'd like to climb in, I could show you how it works. Oh, that'd be so cool. All yeah. right, let me try and get in here. So a helicopter oh, this is, so cool. it is pretty cool. A helicopter is kind of like an airplane, except helicopters don't need a runway. They can take off and land straight up and straight down, so you don't have to go to an airport. You can land in a backyard. Nice. So, is this where I fly this thing right well, here? Well, that's or? part of it. That's how you operate the engine. Okay. So but then I you, use the switch then. That's correct. Okay. Right. Now, this part right here, this is called the cyclic, and you push that in the direction you want to go. So, if you want to go forward, you push it forward. If you okay. want to go backwards, you pull it backwards. If you want to go to the right, you push it to the right. And if you want to go to the left, you push it to the left. Oh, okay. And this lever right here, and you have a separate one on the other oh, side, okay. you can actually push it up and down. That's what makes you go higher, and that's what makes you go lower. Okay. So if you want to land on the ground, you push it all the way down. Oh, and okay. And if you want to take off, you pull it up. Nice. And a lot of helicopters are like this one. They have a really big window in front, so you can see really, really well. Very cool. Nice. This is so, oh man, it makes yeah. you just want to fly, fly a helicopter and fly a plane and fly everything. I know how you feel. <laughs> this is your captain again. Whoa, as we take off. Did you know the first helicopter took flight in Stratford, Connecticut, 82 years ago on September 14th, 1939, and was designed by a man named Igor Sikorsky. John, I have to say, this is really, really cool, but I want to fly one of these things. Can I fly any of them? Well, I know how you feel, and we're not going to go to the airport today and fly a, re a real airplane, but we are going to go to the simulator lab, and we're going to pretend we're flying a simulator on our simulator computers. Oh, that, that'd be awesome. Yeah, they are really, really awesome. In fact, we have, we have 13 airplane simulators at Reedley College, and you can sit down and I'll show you how to fly one. All right. Okay, Lorenzo, here we're now sitting at an airplane simulator and we're gonna take off and fly around and come back in and land. Okay. So what you can do is scoot up just a little bit so you're closer to the control wheel and you can set the park and brake. Okay, park and brake and set. And you can move the mixture control all the way forward. Mixture full rich. And you can turn on the master switch and the alternator. Master switch and on. And the fuel pump and the anti-collision lights. Roger, fuel pump, landing light, and And now you can push the start button to start the engine. Okay. And there we go, the engine is started. And the first thing we do is make sure we have oil pressure, that the engine is working right. Okay. And we're gonna pretend that the air traffic control tower has told us it's okay to take off. Okay. So you can release the parking brake. Okay. So we can start moving and you can take the throttle and push it all the way up. All right. And now we're going to look out the window and fl and fly down the runway. And when it gets to 60 knots, that's fast enough to fly. You can pull back on the wheel. And there you go. And now we're flying. And, if you, need, and if you need to move the trim a little bit right there, okay. I'm going to move it for you. There you go. And so now we're flying. You can see the control tower and you can see the hangars, and you can see roads. Hello, 
family circle passengers, this is your captain once more reporting one more final thought. The first flight simulator was built in 1929 by Edwin Link in his father's basement. It was named the Pilot Maker. It had a complete cockpit with sounds, controls, motions, all to make the feel of flight come to life without a plane. And of course, we're looking out the window for other airplanes, and we would be listening to the air traffic controllers, and we're looking at all of our instruments and our gauges to make sure we're flying the airplane correctly. All right, so how do I how do I land this thing? If we want to land, then we need to slow down and get lower, so you pull the throttle back. Okay. And you can put in half flaps if you want. Okay. And that allows us to, we're gonna start going down to get closer to the airport. And why don't you go ahead and pull the throttle all the way back. Okay. And let's go ahead and let's turn to the right. I'm looking out and pretending there's nobody there. Okay. So now we're turning back towards the airport. Okay. So we can land on the runway. And you can roll out of the turn right about there. Okay. And let's go ahead and make another turn to the right. I see you're turning the control wheel. Okay. It's a little bit like driving a car, but it's also different. Okay, interesting. So we're looking out the window and there's the runway. And that looks pretty good and we're now we're looking to fly 70 knots okay. and you can put in all of the flaps okay okay you're doing a really good job i think you've flown an airplane before <laughs> and so there's the runway and when we get really really close we're going to pull back on the wheel just a little bit go ahead and pull back on the wheel a little bit okay and hold it and pull back just a little more and just hold it right there. And we're gonna touch down on the runway. And that's the wheels hitting the runway. So there, now you landed the airplane. You wow. did a great job, Lorenzo. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. You did a great job. I think you should, I think you should, when you grow up, you should become a pilot. All right, I like that. And I think that's a great idea. Of course, you know what they say. When you grow up, do you want to be a pilot? And the answer is, you can't do both. <laughs> I like it. And you guys just have airplanes all over the place. Yeah, we do. We have a lot of airplanes. John, this has been so much fun. Is there anything that we didn't cover today? I think we covered everything. Wow, that's that. this has just been so awesome. Boys and girls, we had an opportunity to sit in an airplane, to sit in a helicopter. We got to see engines. We got to see jet engines. And at the very end, you let me fly an airplane. Now, it may not have been a real airplane, but it was still a lot of fun. So on behalf of Valley PBS's Family Circle, I just wanted to say thank you so much for giving us this opportunity to come out and check out the Reedley College uh, campus program. And boys and girls, just make sure that you tune in next month to Valley PBS's Family Circle. Bye. Bye.